What's going on YouTube? John Lee from JohnnyTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about something really, really special. Uh, but before I do that, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button when you, uh, so you know when I post a new video. Um, today is something really, really awesome is happening. I'm really, really stoked. Um, basically, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but the 30-day challenge that Russell Brunson is putting on with ClickFunnels, and uh, I've been talking about it for the last few days. Um, so if you haven't watched those videos, check those out, post the link below. But basically, he asked the question, like, if you had 30 days, what would you do if you lost all your money, all your, your reputation, everything? Like, you lost everything, you had nothing but ClickFunnels. You only had a ClickFunnels account. What would you do? So um, basically, there's 30 people who posted trainings. So I uh, looked at the 30 different trainings, and I found one that I really like, and that is Trey Llewellyn's. Trey Llewellyn's 30-day uh, challenge is absolutely insane. So I thought, hey, it would be cool if I actually tried to attempt this 30-day challenge and film it for you guys on YouTube, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to film the first day, which is today, all the way up to day 30 and see if I can actually execute this challenge because the point of the challenges is you know for anyone to be able to, be able to go in without any type of um, money or just type of anything and just go for it just follow following the directions that Trey um, presents so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, the challenge the way that he presented it I'm also going to show you guys behind the scenes on what I'm doing uh, I'm going to show you guys the processes that I'm going through to get this challenge off the ground. And today, um, the first thing that you would want to do, and the first thing that Trey uh, said that you know you should do, is that you need to kind of prepare yourself, right? Like prepare yourself for what you're about to get yourself into. And with any type of um, roadblocks that you may come across, you have to demolish them. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, because I'm not um, like actually going to be able to like sit through the challenge and like hold your hand. Um, I did some pre-work um, for this video actually. So on your screen right now, you're probably seeing me going to Barnes & Nobles, um, looking at magazines. So the point of this is you have to go to Barnes & Nobles. So that's like around day two, but you know, I, I kind of combined it in, into uh, a, a one video, right? But you're gonna see a lot of different things that will help you actually follow the same thing. So day two, you're gonna go to Barnes & Nobles, right? And you're going to look for a niche, okay? So even before you go to Barnes Nobles, you should be thinking about a niche, what niche you want to get into. It really doesn't matter. But the point of going to Barnes Nobles is you want to look at all the um, magazines. And you, if you don't have a Barnes Nobles in the area, you can go to any bookstore that has a magazine section. So the point of this is you want to look at the magazines, look at the different niches, what magazines are selling. So Trey said that the first uh, magazines that you see, the one that uh, the cover is showing, that means that that magazine is selling well, right? So you want to look at those, and then the ones behind them are selling about 60%. So you want to look at those. And then again, the one behind those, you want to look at those. And just look at different niches, right? And then you start collecting magazines and you start looking at um, if they are advertising, right? So if they are advertising, that means a brand is going in there um, and spending money to, you know, get their product inside the magazine. Now, the point of looking at these magazines is so that we can get the phone numbers to call the magazines. So what we want to do is we're going to be calling the magazines and asking for the backlogs of the last 12 months. Okay, so the back issues meaning that the magazines from the last 12 months, we want those, okay? The point of that is because we want to look at what brands are selling from the last 12 months, okay? So that we can kind of get an idea. So um, I'll post a little expert for, for each day. So you'll see on your screen right now, like, what's what's the plan? Um, but that's, that's basically what we're doing. We're going to be looking at um, Barnes Noble's magazines uh, and then getting those numbers. So I already did this work and I already picked my niche and everything like that. Um, and I decided on going into the gaming niche. Now, the reason why I wanted to go in the gaming niche is because A, there's a lot of magazines for it. B, there's people that um, literally live for gaming. I actually looked at the stats, and I can actually pull those stats, but like $50 billion a year spent on gaming. Um, it's been uptrending the last five years, uh, positive growth. Hasn't been slowing down. The average gamer is around $30. <laughs> Thirty dollars, thirty years old, meaning they have disposable income. Um, so th this is these are all good signs, right? These are really, really good signs. So I really like the gaming niche, and myself, I'm a gamer, so it's like something that I kind of resonate with as well. So I am going to be calling um, Future PLC, which is the company that owns pretty much a lot of gaming magazines, and I'm going to call them and ask them uh, if I can get their back issues from the last twelve months, and hopefully they will allow that. And sometimes they might 
do it for free that's what Trey said so hopefully that's what happens here but maybe I have to pay but that would be okay just because I would want those back issues so that I can start the process of getting donations so the the whole point of this is to get brands to donate to us okay so that we can run a contest and get free leads now um, if you're not part of the 30-day challenge you probably want to sign up today is the first day um, and then after today that video is going down if you are not a part of the challenge So if you're just like lurking, you're not gonna get that information anymore So there's no point of not buying it because you will always have that information. So this is really really amazing. So I'm super stoked um, I'm about to call this number on your screen so that I can talk to them. You're gonna see it live here um, and Yeah, so let's actually do it All right, so on your screen you can see that this is the number um, that I'm about to call. So let's do it. Hi, my name is Shalani, and I'm actually looking um, to advertise in some of your magazines, um, specifically the gaming magazines, so PC Gamer, Games TM, um, T3, Games Radar, Gizmodo, Games Master, um, and Maximum PC. I was just wondering if it's possible if I can have the back issues of the last 12 months for those um, magazines, only because I um, need to report back to my uh, advisor in regards to setting that up or just looking to make sure that we are a great fit for those magazines. Um, my name is Jalani again and we are um, a company called Gaming Junkies. So we're just looking at our options in terms of magazines. So um, if you can give me a call back. Greatly appreciate it. Again, I'm just looking for the back issues um, for the last 12 months of um, your gaming magazine. So hopefully I can hear back from you soon. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. All right. So I just sent them a message. So hopefully they get back to me um, today. If not, I'll call them back tomorrow. Um, it's 12 o'clock, so they're probably at lunch. And, you know, who knows what they're doing. So hopefully by today or by tomorrow, I will have a callback, but regardless, you'll have an update by tomorrow. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some backend stuff that I'm doing. I'm building out an uh, email list, um, a main chat bot, um, and I'll, t I'll actually explain why I'm using main chat and not Opesta as well. Um, and we'll get all this squared away, but again, this is gonna be amazing. What I'm trying to do is get these magazines to give me the back 12 um, or the back issues for the last 12 months so now I can look through them, get products and brands ideas. And then I'll reach out to those brands and ask them if they can donate to the contest that we're running. The purpose of this is to get in massive amount of leads, so um, thirty to 50,000 leads for free, so that we can start promoting our own products to them. And this works by getting these brands to donate to us so that we can run the contest to their email list, okay? So this is gonna be really, really fun. I'm really excited. Um, this is a short video. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what's happening. This is the first day of the 30 day challenge. Tomorrow you'll have another update and I'll let you guys know how it's going. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are, uh, have any suggestions or comments, leave those comments below and leave this a thumbs up if you're excited for the 30 day challenge because I'm super stoked and I really want you guys to see the process of this because you can go from day one to day 30 and, and replicate it basically for yourself if this works well. So I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.